Hey everybody, happy Easter and welcome back to the channel, JT Open Stuff. And look what the Easter Bunny left me today. Now, usually golden eggs have something pretty cool inside of, of them. So let's see what the Easter Bunny left for me to open on this beautiful Easter day. All right, let's see. Oh, it looks like a little Lego set. Oh, nice. Very cool. We got the Mars Rover, the Technique Mars Rover. That is really, really cool. Now look at that, guys. That's 83 pieces. Looks like it's going to be a bunch of little small pieces, but wow, what a cool little gift. So... Thanks, Easter Bunny. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Let's get right into this technique opening and see if we can build this little this little rover. I love, love, love everything having to do with NASA, the Mars rover. It's really cool. So this is going to be a really fun little opening. And as I always do with my Lego openings, guys, we're going to take just a couple of seconds here and we're going to separate out these pieces by color so that when we are asked for a dark gray piece or a red piece or a black piece or gray piece, we know where to go for it. So that's just gonna take me a couple of seconds here. So while I'm separating that out, if you haven't already guys, please click that subscribe button. It is really, really helpful to me. Click the like button if you do like this video, but most importantly, please just click that subscribe button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'm really hoping to grow this channel. I would love, love, love to be around 2,500 subscribers maybe by the end of the year. And I think we can get there if you guys would just help me out and click that subscribe button today. It will give you all the toy opening videos that I do. Get your notifications turned on there. You can see everything that we open here on the channel. And I like to open all kinds of different things from Lego to monster, tr monster trucks to mystery figs to doorbells, everything I could think of. I'm going to have some videos coming up of some things that I picked up recently at Toylanta. So if you like toys and you like seeing them opened, click that subscribe button and you will get what you're asking for on this channel. So thank you so much for those of you that have. If you're considering it today, thank you as well. And now we have these pieces all separated out. Let's get into the actual build of this rover. So as you can see, it's not a little, these little plastic packages just come with kind of like a folded set of instructions, not really a book. So we're gonna kind of sit this up in the back back there and I hope you can see that, but we're going to take this little, now these pieces, the technique pieces, the way they look the same, it's kind of easier for me to spread them out just a little bit. So we're going to take the little red piece here and we're going to slide it right in just like this. And then there is a longer light gray piece that it looks like we slide into this side and it looks like it goes about halfway like this. So, on top of that, let's see, number two, number three, number three is going to be this guy on top of this little guy like this. And again, these little pieces are really interesting. And then let's see here. There should be a little, here we go, a little block right here. And then these will fit right into the top of that as such. And then this is going to fit right here. Okay. All right. Now on this back side here, 
looks like we have a this little piece perhaps see if I can find one that looks more similar but I think this is the piece so this piece goes oh wait a second I did miss something there. It is this piece. I didn't see this little tiny thing sticking out there. So that piece goes like that. Then uh, this little white piece goes on next. Interesting. Let's see, there's gotta be a sh little bit shorter one then. Like that, okay, there we go. Like that. Interesting, very cool. All right, so we've got that piece on. Now this looks like it might fit flush once that piece is on, but We'll see. We'll, we'll find out in a second. All right, now we're going to sit this down for a second because we have to take this piece, and it looks like it's got a little gray piece right here that's going to go... Hmm. Is that the right piece there? Then a red piece here. You know what, guys? I don't know that that's the right piece. Let's see. Is there a different piece there? Interesting. Looks like it. Looks like the right piece. So the gray piece here. Then that. Then a red piece. The weird thing is it looks like it's scalloped out or scalloped out right there a little bit. Oh, okay. I see what, man, pay attention there, JT. <laughs> All right. So then there is a, another two hole piece that is going to go there. So this will fit onto that. Okay. Then... This piece will go into here. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. This piece will go into the front here like that. And then another piece will go into this right here like, like so. Very interesting build here. Sometimes these technique pieces can be quite confusing, but we're going to do our best to get everything built as best we can here. So then this looks like okay, this looks like it's going to whoa. That doesn't seem like it should just be falling off right there. So did we do things correctly is my question. Nope, that one gets flipped around like that. Okay. Then... Let's see, this piece would go here. And that gray piece goes, oh wow. Guys, this is a really challenging little, little build so far. All right, let me get it a little closer here. We're gonna take a look. So we did that. What's confusing is it shows like there's a little, little slots to hold that one in tight. 
However, if you look at these pieces, the second hole is just a round hole. And that is the same on all of them. So that is kind of confusing to me. But we have that in. We have that in as asked. And we have this in. So let's see. Maybe that is not supposed to be a gray piece. It is supposed to be a one of these black pieces like this. Okay, let's try this again. Take that apart. We'll put that in there. We'll put this one over the top. Okay, now that fits a little more snugly. Okay, so that I think might be the correct way to build that there. Looks like that goes about right there. Okay. All right, let's see. Now this piece in theory Okay, this piece looks like it goes about like half and half now that I look at the picture a little closely, more closely. All right, here we go. And this piece looks like it should go like this. And then Okay. I am not doing something right here, guys. So you right now at home are probably going crazy, going, JT, figure that out. But we're gonna look at this part again. So this part looks exactly like it does on the picture to me. Gray part, gray part, red part, red part. We slid this little part over. This little handle is here, just as it is in the pictures. Okay, so then we move on to this part. This part with the little black piece in it. We slid this piece over. We put this red piece in. We put this red piece in. Now this down here looks like it should go through the middle here behind that one and into this little part. The problem I'm having is, I guess it, maybe it doesn't go any further than that. Huh. It really looks like it goes all the way through down here. But I'm just having trouble making that little piece fit. So... If I, if I jam it any harder, any further, it seems like it just comes apart there. So I'm not really sure where I'm messing up this build. Through there, through there. It's this part right here, should go in this part right here, but should fit on top like this. Now, do these, does this part bend at all? It does not. So 
So this should fit in just like this. Sit on top, yet go through right there. So why are we having such a difficult time? Let's see. Oh, I just dropped a piece off of there. And it was an important piece because it's the piece that these have to go through. So see, that's the way it should fit, just like that. But it doesn't fit properly if I have this on as well. And there lies the issue. So let's see if I can kind of fit it in there again. All right. Did we get it this time? Almost. No. All right, well, let's do this. Let's take this part off. Let's put this part in like it's supposed to fit. And as you can see, it just doesn't line up properly. Okay. This is really, really starting to kind of bug me. It fits in like this, but does not fit in behind it. like this, like it is supposed to. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we're gonna do, because this is gonna end up being a extremely long video if I don't figure this out, guys. And it's Easter Sunday. We don't want to be frustrated on Easter Sunday. So let's take one more look at this again. So gray part, gray part, black part, black part. And it shows just like we have it here. You know what? I think I just figured it out. And that is why you take a better second look at things. Because I think this Okay, that, guys, was an amateur rookie. Terrible, terrible mistake. So I'm pretty much going to have to take this part off. And those of you that probably noticed this right from the beginning are were probably going crazy. Like, JT, what are you doing? Um, this... I missed one little step here, it looks like. So we're gonna take this completely apart. And we're gonna do this again quickly. So red part, gray part. And then it should have had this part on it. This part, I missed. So then this part went in here, like that. Okay, then this part is the same, but this part slides onto here, like that. Then this part went on there like that. Then this part went on like this. Okay, let me get that back up there where it's supposed to be. As you can see, that looks, I think, a little closer to what it's supposed to be. Or wait a second, I, man, I almost did the same thing again. Okay. This part on, then 
another piece like this. Now, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> now that part, now this part. So I think that is closer to what we were supposed to have. Then we were to build this exactly like we had it built there. Then this went between here into there. And imagine that. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Easter Charlie Brown if you're out there. All right, so then we take another one of these parts and we slide this onto here like this. Okay. That piece looks like it should fit pretty flush. This piece looks like it should still maybe stick out just a teeny tiny bit here. So we're gonna try to even even that up a bit a bit. And then this gray piece looks like it should go half and half, kind of like that. Okay, so we're at this point now, we slid this piece on. Then we are to take these two pieces Let's see. Yeah, they should go together here. There we go. And this should fit. see okay guys i am truly starting to wonder about myself here how many times can i leave a piece off before i move to the next step and part of it is it doesn't show these little tiny pieces, not tiny, but these little four peg pieces going on there. So I just move to the next step and it's not the next step. As you can see, it just is already on here. We go from seven and it just shows it already on there. And this piece going on, it only shows one piece going on. It did not show this piece going on before that. So that piece goes on, then this piece goes on. Like this, or is that like this okay like this interesting now this piece fits in there like such or like so okay now we take one of these little pieces here and one of these little pieces goes in between and then this slides down. Okay, you pretty much have to line that up. Let's see, we look like we're lined up now. Okay, there we go. Just down on the top. Okay, and we do this times two. So we'll get one more there. 
All right, those are together. Then this goes on to these gray pegs and red pegs on either side. So like that and that, okay. Looks like we're still on the right track here. And then this coil piece fits right in between here. And this long brown piece goes into here, into there, through there to hold it in, as you can see. Okay, I skipped another spot here. <laughs> You guys are going to just be, you've got to be like laughing at this point. Like how many spots can you skip? So this is going to go in like this. This goes into this top part here. And here. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, is all I can say. <laughs> that is okay, though. I'm having fun building this nonetheless, even though I apparently am struggling with it. All right. So then it looks like we have a little piece here. That is going to go onto this brown piece here. It's going to turn. Okay. Then we have a little yellow piece that's going to go here with. Okay, where is that little piece? Okay, looks like these clip on here. Like this. Then this little head thing goes on like this. So as you can see there, and then this goes on that gray piece here. It looks kind of like it faces out like this. So that's the way we're going to build it. All right. It doesn't really go any further up in there, so that's got to be it. Okay, now over to this side. So it looks like we take this and we put one of these little ball things in the top. And these are just equal on either side, on each side. So we'll put one of these here down in there. Then looks like a gray rod and to the front like that. Then this like this. And we do that times two. So we'll do that. That and that. And now these 
look like they fit onto these little side gray pieces here. Okay. And then there is a piece here that goes, let's see, do these go? It goes right in between this little area here. So this little bar is gonna fit over these. It's gonna be a little tricky to hold and do this at the same time, but this goes in between these little bars. Okay, maybe we'll do this. We'll do one at a time. We'll put that, as you can see, it goes between there, pops down there, and this goes on and it pops down on there. So just like that. So really cool little piece of suspension work there. Okay, now let's see. We have these little, now we're gonna go over here. That looks like a, a little black piece here. Okay. So that is not that piece. What, where is the piece I'm looking for? Is it that? No. Hmm. Okay, this is the piece we're looking for right here. Okay, I think I might have figured it out now. Let's see if I did. So it's this piece. Then this little arm goes on here like that. Okay. Then this little guy goes on like that. And then this little piece clips in there just like that. Okay. Then it shows a okay. Hmm. All right, so we have that built. That part sticks out like that. Okay, so this. Okie dokie, let's take one closer look. Guys, this, okay, it goes right into the back side of that there. With those parts facing backwards. So just, Second one of those looks like it goes on there.
this is the part I don't understand. If this looks like it fits have this side. It looks like this. I truly do not know how that goes on there, guys. Which again, I'm going to go ahead and laugh at myself because I, at this point I could only laugh. <laughs> I apparently left out yet another piece, which goes right there. There. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes, guys, that's all you can do is just say, wow. But you can't get frustrated. You just have to work through the time that it takes to do this. So let's do this. Since I'm having such a hard time figuring this one out, we're going to do what is probably the most prudent thing at this point. And we're just going to take the these pieces off and we're going to try... To do this over again. So we start off with this piece that goes up like this, just like that. Then we have this piece that goes just like this, and the holes face up the same direction. Now it shows this little piece going in the top as such and two of these pieces going on to the sides and then it just shows it popping on to the side
Now that would mean that this looks just like that. And somehow that goes on to the underneath part. It does not go on. Now what makes it attach there? Because if you have this and you make it look exactly like it does in the picture, what exactly is attaching this to this? It makes absolutely no sense to me, guys. We have this piece built exactly as asked, as instructed. Then it would turn like this. There's got to be a step that they're leaving out here. I really do not understand this. There 100% has to be a step that is left out. Like maybe this going into there. But that wouldn't, that wouldn't be needed. Is it this piece? Goes, in, that looks like, why would this not be listed? as a step that looks like it fits why would it not have that gray piece going in there being listed as a step that is incredibly incredibly frustrating and if you're if you're just trying to have fun i mean like that could take you quite a bit of time to try to figure out Wow, guys, that was kind of crazy. Sorry that took so long. I really, really don't like not being able to, to build these builds quickly and efficiently for you guys. But hey, sometimes things just happen. So if you've stuck it out through this part, all I can say is I greatly appreciate it because I almost didn't stick it out myself. <laughs> So thank you very much. All right, now that we kind of know we'll get that piece on there, then we have this little guy, the aforementioned mystery piece that was not listed. And there you have it. Now it shows these little rover wheels, just like that, and like that, and like that. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. And this one, there's also two of these. And this goes on to here. Okay. All right, so we have this wheel should go here, just like that. This wheel should go here. And now again, I am jumping ahead a little bit here. Let's see. All right, let's do this real quick, guys. <laughs> All right, so this goes on to here, like that. This little piece goes in here like that. Then it looks like we should have like a little drill gun. We definitely do not have a drill gun, so I guess it's just this little piece, perhaps. Yeah, that's it. Hmm, it's this little piece. That looks a little more like it. And it will go right on to this end, like so. So we pop that part together there. So you kind of have to just, after you've done this a few times and uh, the parts of the directions that are left out, you just kind of have to go with it, guys. It is um, kind of weird that it doesn't give you more direction, but also I understand it's a little tiny set of instructions. So, okay. So there we have that side. Now it does not... It's just kind of loosey-goosey there, as you can see. But now that I have not skipped ahead too much, let's see. So we have this wheel here, this wheel here, and it shows a third wheel. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Wheel, wheel. Wheel. And wheel. So we've got four of them. Now, this part goes up into here, like so. we have it. Then this piece. Like this. All right. And guys, I think that's it. I think after all of that, we have finally built our little rover. So as you can see, there are some articulated points there. These wheels do move, it does roll, you can stop it. You can drill down into the surface of Mars there. You can scan what's around you. So a great little build, a great little Easter gift. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me struggle with this little tiny set. And if you did, leave a like on this. Give me some support, some emotional support after this build. And I will see you guys on the next one and have a very happy Easter, you and your family.